Yeah, you got something on your teeth. What is it? Your head. Oh. Oh, hello. hello. Today's story is... Beauty and the Beast. You know what? You, you don't have to sing. Oh. That's cool. Beauty and the Beast. Better. Once there was a handsome prince. Like, really, really handsome. Hello. Like, totally handsome. Yeah. Like, he had style. Oh, he could dance. <laughs> but although the prince was good looking on the outside, he had a bad personality. Here's him on the outside. And this is what he looked like on the inside. Ew. He was arrogant. He was unkind. Why do people keep saying that? I'm sick of people saying that. Stop saying it. What's wrong with you? You know what you are? You're an unironed shirt with a button off it. That's what you are. Is that how you're going to read? Is that how you're going to read a book? You're pathetic. You because he was so bad on the inside, he was struck by a terrible curse and turned into a beast. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> no, it's, it's not Beauty and the Chimpanzee. Beast. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, yeah. The curse also turned all the servants in the prince's castle into household appliances. Robert, you're a candlestick now? Great work. Oh, Helen Toaster, you look awesome. <gasps> Philip, ice cream machine, great job. Oh, yeah, I'll have some, thanks. Oh, it's, no, it's, it's wonderful. Do you want some? No, thanks. I don't like chocolate. The only way to break the curse was for the prince to find love before his 21st birthday. Otherwise, he'd stay a beast forever. But the silly beast stayed locked up in his palace. He never went out to meet anyone. I don't need to go out and find love. I've got hobbies. I've got, I've got egg cartons and, and, and pipe cleaners and, and glitter. Who needs more? The world is what you make it. Just before Beast's 21st hey, birthday... Hey, I'm still a prince here. Come on! Just before Prince Beast's 21st birthday, a weird little moustache guy got lost in the forest and wandered into Prince Beast's castle. Come on, if I could make this weird little moustache guy love me, the curse will be lifted. So Prince Beast crept up on moustache guy and said... Do you love me? How could I love you? said little moustache guy. You're a terrible beast. <sighs> So Prince Beast locked Little Moustache Guy away in a dungeon. You can stay in there until you love me. Now it just so happened that Little Moustache Guy had a daughter who was so attractive that everyone called her Beauty. Although her name was Belle, which is French. French for what? Beauty. But inner beauty as well. Mm. Look, here's what she looked like on the outside. And this is what she looked like on the inside. And she was always singing the most wonderful songs. Songs like... Beauty! No, you don't have to sing. You don't really... don't really. OK. Belle rushed to Prince Beast's castle to rescue her father, but the Beast met her at the door. <coughs> oh, please, come in. Nice to meet you. Make yourself at home and love me! Please love me! Relax, you don't need a princess to solve your problems, said Belle. Well, actually, I kind of do. I, I, if I don't find love, I, I stay a beast forever. So what if you stay a beast? It doesn't matter what you look like, it's what you like on the inside that counts. That's what the ugly people say. You got a bad attitude, Prince. I'm going to give you an inner beauty makeover. <sighs> huh. So Belle and Beast did horse riding and wolf juggling. They did a first aid course together and they learned fireside reading, ballroom dancing. But then the beast realised... Uh, hang on, hang on. It's my 21st birthday tomorrow. I haven't found love. I'm going to be like this forever! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You're OK as a beast, said Belle. You need to love yourself for who you are. You know what? I think you might... Oh! Oh, no. Mystery illness! What? What? Oh, no. What's happening to the beast? Is it a curse? A disease? Is he faking for attention? Whatever it was, what happened to the beast tore at Belle's heart. Oh, no! She cried. Beast, don't die! 
Don't die. I, I love you. And with that, the spell was broken. Ah. Ah. Oh, what happened? Ah. Oh, Prince, said Belle, your outer looks have been transformed, but your inner beauty has been fixed as well. Here's what he looked like on the outside. This is what he looked like on the inside. And here's what they both look like together. The very next day, Belle and Prince Handsome were married and they lived happily ever after as a smoothie. And that's the end of Beauty, Beauty.